Minimaps have been in Call of Duty since the very beginning. I mean, it's always been minimaps for Call of Duty games. They've always been there. And in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, it's true. No, I thought it was only the gun, uh, the gunfight 2v2 game mode, but it's true. In all pub games, there are no minimaps, which is going to be a little weird. You know, I feel both ways about not having a minimap. You know, part of me thinks it's, it's a great idea. It's a positive thing. And then the other half of me is like, this is going to be awful. This is going to slow down the pace of the game. People are going to be campy. You know, it's, it's two sides to every story. But the Call of Duty community is one picky and harsh community to please. There's always something wrong. There's always something that's going to be complained about. There's always going to be something that's just going to be completely bad in the game. And, you know, and I understand where Infinity War is trying to come from. They're trying to switch things up. They're trying to make the game fresh. Just like when Black Ops 4 came out and they said, yeah, uh, we're going to change it to 150 health. Screw your opinion, you know, <laughs> we don't care what you say. And do note that when this happened, the community was just enraged. They were pissed about 150 health. And I'm pretty sure the majority of the community wanted to revert back to 100 health. But you know what happened. Treyarch did not listen and they kept it going. 150 health the whole game. Me personally, I enjoyed it at first. It kind of, you know, grew old after a while. And as people and the community started to abuse the system and abuse stacking and using 150 health to your best advantage, it just became very, very obnoxious. And it's probably one of the things that I hate the most in this game. It's crazy how it's the thing that I thought was the best. And then literally like three to four months down the road, it's now my most hated thing in the game. But minimaps are the same situation. Are they going to listen to the fans? Are they going to listen to what we're saying when we say that we don't want to deal with all of this nonsense? You know, a lot of people are complaining. The majority of the YouTubers who got flown out there are saying that it's a horrible change. It's an awful change, and they want their minimaps back. Now, me personally, if you want my personal opinion, I don't mind. You know, I think that I personally can go without a minimap. I used to love hardcore S&D back in Modern Warfare 3, and even in titles after Modern Warfare 3, I still dabbled in hardcore game modes every once in a while. It wasn't my favorite, but I still enjoyed it. But actually, at the end of the day, when I sit down and I think of what I enjoy the most about Call of Duty and why I play core Call of Duty, it's not just the health. But it's the minimap. The minimap allows you to do so many different things and allows you to play to the best of your ability. And an argument that I hear a lot is that hardcore players deal with it all the time. You know, when you hop into a game of hardcore and a Call of Duty game, you don't have a minimap. And on top of that, you're about one to two shots away from death. So those players deal with it 24-7. So it's not like it's impossible. It's not like you are forced to you know need a mini map you can still maneuver around the map without relying on it but you have to understand that hardcore isn't the most populated game mode in the game i mean and um let me let me think about pc it would take me about maybe 30 plus minutes to find a game of hardcore search if i'm lucky and i mean really 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 lucky so hardcore is practically completely dead on pc and on console it's practically the same you can still find games of hardcore but if you just look up a regular game of Team Deathmatch and then go look up a hardcore game of Team Deathmatch, you're going to find a regular game of Team Deathmatch 10 times faster. So the majority of the community obviously wants the minimap. The majority of the community enjoys having that extra aspect of the game because if they didn't care about it, then you know they would be playing some hardcore right now. Also, minimaps just add that one extra layer of being able to know where the enemies are at or knowing when the spawns flip or knowing where your teammates are located, or what lanes are secured by your squad, and what lanes are probably going to be occupied by enemies. The minimap literally feeds you so much information. It feeds you everything you need to know about the current lobby you're in, where the enemies are coming, and how you can stay alive in a match. That's what the minimap does for you, and having no minimap, that will spice things up, definitely. But I think the largest and the biggest problem about not having a minimap is not knowing where your teammates are. Like I just said, knowing where your teammates are is the biggest thing, the biggest point in a Call of Duty game. And if I were to tell you one tip, it's to know where your teammates are on the minimap and just play it safe if you're not near them. Because that's usually where the enemies tend to spawn. Am I, am I right or am I wrong? So having no minimap is definitely going to screw that factor up, especially since you can't see anybody through the walls. You don't know what's going on. But, but... And the amazing thing that Infinity Ward has said, it's not bringing back the minimap, 
but they want to add it in to where you can see your teammates through the walls. Now, this won't bring back the full aspect of having a mini-map, but it will allow you to know where your teammates are. It will allow you to know where the enemies are probably going to spawn, and it will allow you to know if your team is spawning on the other side of the map, or if the spawns are rotating, or if the enemies are very close to you. It will definitely help knowing where everything is going. And at that point, if you can see people through walls... I think that would be able to, you know, replace the minimap. I think at that point it would be good. Because I think the main reason people don't like the change of no minimap is just the pacing of the game. You don't know where the hell anybody is. You don't know what's going on in any of the lobbies. You don't know where your squad is, where enemies are shooting you from. You don't know where your teammates are getting shot from. They, they could get shot from the side. They could get shot behind you, in front of you. You have no clue. You have no idea. And if the enemy team is running silencers, that makes it even worse. Then you definitely have no clue where anybody's dying from or where anybody's even coming from. It definitely makes things harder in Call of Duty. But being able to see your teammates through the walls will definitely help a little bit more with knowing where the enemies are going to be at. Knowing the angles, knowing the locations, knowing the spawns. I guess it would help, but it's not going to completely help. At the end of the day, I just don't know how well this is going to fly with the Call of Duty community. I mean, the majority, the mass majority, looks like they really are not enjoying this change. And even though a few people every once in a while I see say that they do enjoy the change of having no minimap, it still seems like the majority of everybody else would prefer a minimap. And that's just not this game, but a lot of other games as well rely on minimaps too. So if the Battlefield fans were coming over to play Call of Duty because they enjoyed what they saw out of the 20v20 game mode or the 50v50 game mode, the minimap might be a huge deciding factor as well because minimaps are just, you know, kind of normal things that you have in these FPS games that aren't, you know, like Rainbow Six Siege. But the other FPS games, minimaps are just regular. But, at the end of the day, I just hope everybody relaxes and don't take this whole minimap business too seriously. Don't stress out over Infinity Ward screwing up this game over a minimap. If it comes down to it, it's easy to add back. It's not like Black Ops 4, where it's 150 health, and they would have to change the damage outputs of all the weapons, and then change the health down to 100. And It's, it's a lot of factors they would have to do to make the game work around taking 150 health and moving it back down to 100 health. But this is just a simple, you know, add in a minimap. There's literally nothing else you have to do. You don't have to buff any weapons, you don't have to nerf any weapons, you don't have to change any player models, the animations of the game. No, you literally just add in the minimap. So if it's needed down the road, then they will probably add it in. I, I can't see why they wouldn't. But I just want everybody to relax. Just chill and wait until you personally play this game. Don't let these other people decide for you about how you feel about it. Wait until you play it without a minimap. Wait until the mass majority of players play it without a minimap. This was a streamer event. These were a bunch of content creators who were playing for not only good KDs, good scores, and good gameplay. So the majority of them probably were camping. But in the hands of a casual player who's just going to want to run and gun, they probably could give two craps whether they have a minimap or not. So just take it easy. Wait until the beta comes out and then make your final opinion on it. Because I'm very curious to see how this game will play if you can see through all the walls and see your teammates through walls and then use that as knowledge to where the enemies are spawning or if the spawns flipped or something like that. I'm very curious to see how that might be implemented into the game. But overall, the minimap, it's a very big topic. A lot of people are sweating over this. But all I can say is just stop sweating over it, man. It's just a minimap. And like I said, they can add it in in a blink of an eye. So if it's really that game-breaking and enough people hate it, they're going to add it back in. It's no way they're going to risk ruining this game when it's already off to such a good start. And they know what they're missing out on if this game fails. Because if Modern Warfare fails, God, Call of Duty is in for a very rude awakening. But make sure you leave your comments down below on how you personally feel about this whole no minimap situation. Are you a big fan of it? Do you hate it? How do you feel about this whole situation? Like I said, I'm right smack dab in the middle. I want to play the game first before making up my mind about any of this. You know, I, if I don't know how it plays personally and I can only see from other gameplay videos and other YouTubers, then I can't fully make my own opinion until I actually touch it myself. But let me know down in the comment section on how you all personally feel about this. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell notification button. We're trying to grind up to 3,000 subs. Honestly, I... I seriously would have never imagined my YouTube channel 
gaining the amount of subs and the amount of views that I am right now. It's honestly the best possible thing that has ever happened in my life. I've been grinding for this dream for ages, and to see positive feedback and positive things actually happening, uh, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm speechless. It's crazy to see. But thank you guys so much for your support on this channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you hated it, you can dislike it. If you want to chat with me, you can always ch uh, catch me on Twitter, at JBonaMan. And if you want to catch me streaming, I'm on Twitch, at JBonaMan as well. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and shout out to the Endgame Squad. Peace out. <laughs>